I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. They don't have a best. They're always uppity. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. They're just jealous. They seem real friendly. But the Dalish are delightful. I was just thinking of inviting the whole clan over for tea. <laughs> I'm sure they'd never accept in a... Oh. Right. Sarcasm. You and me are going to get along well. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Ashabella Nar isn't known for her patience. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, talking to her being sarcastic all the time. On my other character, at first I was mean to her and I felt bad and I was always really nice to her. So I guess there wasn't really any time for her to get confused. The best thing is having her and Isabella in the party at the same time. They say some pretty funny shit when they interact with each other. Because obviously Isabella's like a huge skank that fucks everything that moves and always talks about sex and uh, the other chick's like not. And doesn't get it when she's using like euphemisms and things like that. And as you can imagine, hilarity ensues. Eh, let's drop some fire on these bitches. Of course, this isn't really the best place to put it, but hey, whatever. Ow! See, I should have put it right there. Oh well. Spider bastards. These games. Pretty much all all games should be must be real fun for anybody who's like massively afraid of spiders because every game has giant spiders in them. Although my friend's afraid of spiders in real life, and as far as I know, he doesn't freak out whenever he's playing a game like this. Although I did notice when he got up off the couch, there was a huge wet spot where he was sitting. So maybe he pissed his pants. Shut up, dogs! Yay, more materials for crafting things. One thing I never really did figure out, uh, what's the point of getting, like, multiple of the, uh, crafting things? Because they never get used up, so... And it has, like, a limit, like it says you can get, like, uh... Oops, damn it! I'm still getting used to this shit again. It says, uh... You can have like six out of six total um, elf roots or something. So what's the advantage of having like six instead of say one, which is all you need to craft some of the shit? Get the fuck off me, spider bastards! Is it? It's kind of disappointing with Anders. In uh, Awakening, he was like the funny character that was always making stupid jokes and uh, pissing off Ogren and stuff, and in this one all he does is bitch about the plight of mages, and oh, the Templars, oh, they're so mean, and they pull my hair, and wah, wah, wah. Now that I've seen at least one option for, like, all the different choices you can make, I'm really curious about what are the other possibilities, so I guess I'm gonna find out. By the time I'm done with this playthrough. I wonder how long till they start releasing that DLC for this game. Besides, like, the stuff that's not real DLC, it's like, hey, you bought the game new, so here's your code to download stuff that should have come with the game in the first place. Except we want to encourage people to buy the game brand new. So, if you want to get all the content, content. You gotta get the game new and then put in the, the codes. Isabella, get your tits over here and open this box for me. It's done. Thank you. I'm trying to think. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, are there any other robes I could get for to, so I can have one to always unlock shit for me? And uh, <coughs> Obviously, Varric is a rogue, and that stupid archer Religious freak is also a rogue, so either one of them could do it too. Still got uh, Death Clock song stuck in my head. You've been prosecuted. You've been prosecuted. <laughs> Blood is a natural conductor. 
Yes. Ridiculous lyrics. Ooh, a barrier. Fancy. Oh, this is where you find out one of the fun facts about uh, Meryl. I do believe. No, she's not a man. If only, right? How are you going to open that barrier? I can open the way forward. One moment. All right. This should be a simple procedure. Nothing too drastic. What the? Oh my god! She's emo! I mean, oh, she's a blood mage. Da -da. This ought to be good. That was a summoning. That takes blood magic. Are you crazy? <laughs> yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. The spirit helped us, didn't it? They don't keep helping, I'll tell you that. Sure, demons are very helpful. Right up until they take your mind and turn you into a monster. Well, yes. But that won't happen. I know how to defend myself. Oh, well, that's comforting. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlathan, the elders came here to sleep. Those lazy bastards. Urethra. The endless dream, they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. Oh, but they sure do stack rocks for no reason. Alright, time to fight a bunch more demons. Or whatever is in, is in here. Bring it, fuckers. I ain't scared of you. Deep mushroom. Eh, it's kind of a shame that the uh, little aiming wheel is not quite as effective as it was in the last game. If you were like, I can't, I'm not sure if I missed any loot. You'd just do this and you could see like anything all the way to the edge of the screen. Now you have to be fairly close for it to actually pick up anything. Except for like quest item things like this. Oh no! Let's I gotta kill this thing first. Suck on that. These things will fuck you up if you're not careful. Ow! Kinda like that one just did. See? I know what I'm talking about. Wow, that was smooth. That was really smooth. Alright, Anders. Time for you to kick some ass. Indeed you have. Alright, fuck off. Alright, use the healing item. Very good. I can die already. Yeah. Oh, my guys being such sissies. Uh oh, goddamn shadow warriors! Uh, I use. I've been playing as that rogue for such a long time. I just set her up like that, and I can use her for rogue, roguey type shit whenever I want. Other gay skills. Bitch! Like yeah, haste is pretty sweet. This is pretty much what it was like on my other character. Hi! Like, hey! Except for less getting stunned like a bitch. Who's gonna die? Oh. Ouchie! I think it's safe now. Place the amulet on the altar, and I'll begin the run. This part is basically to explain, uh, how could Flemeth... Well, I won't spoil it. I was very injured. My glasses were smashed apart. Alright, you gonna cut yourself again and listen to Fallout Boy? Aharin Amalana Salim. Emma ira bella zezira. Make a leka ha, I make a honey ho. Isala hamin, vinan him, tofila. Adi hadi adi ai. Ori 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 o. Nari ba. Iri iri iri. Skirty boop, skirty boop, skirty boop. It's Flamath! 
you hid in my suitcase. Damn you. Ah, and here we are. Friend of yours? Kind of. You speak the word as if it is cheap coin, meant for spending. I don't know what that means. You don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me, bitch! I know your type. Ooh, you just got saved. She just called you a whore. One of the people I see, so young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? Janeway. I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. Agreed. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. Well, I tried, but, you know. No one wanted to buy it. Maybe because it had a witch inside? Good one. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. And there you go. That's to cover the whole. How is Morgan? How is uh, Flemeth still alive if you kill her in Dragon Age One? She put a piece of herself. I told you she's like fucking Voldemort, making Horcruxes everywhere. So yeah, she put a piece of herself in the amulet and had you deliver it here. So yeah, she's not dead even if you killed her in the other game. Blah 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 blah. blah. What do you think, Anders? What are you? A spirit? An abomination? A G milf? I've ever seen. <laughs> and you would know of spirits and abominations. Uh, yeah, he's kind of an expert on it. I'm a mage. Of course I know of such things. Just ask him. Of course. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. And more than that, we won't find out anyway. Unless I missed a big part of the story last time. Who's Morrigan? She sounds hot. Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. Obviously. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. That's deep. Why not come yourself? Why don't you just fly over here, you old bag, instead of making me carry a locket around with your fucking essentials in it, and your insurer. Why did you need me to bring you here? Because I had an appointment to keep. And because I did not want to be followed, you smuggled me here quite nicely. Are you real? I don't understand. Are you some kind of vision? I'll say she is. <laughs> <laughs> Must I be in only one place? Bodies are such limiting things. Agreed. I am but a fragment cast adrift from the whole, a bit of flotsam to cling to in the storm. They should have this option after every one of these fucking wacky things she says. What do you mean? A fragment. You do not need to understand, child. I want one of those capes. Know only that you may have saved my life, just as I once saved yours. And even trade, I think. I guess so. So, what now? You have plans, I take it. Destiny awaits us both, dear girl. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. Ah, here we go. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. Um, uh, sure thing, crazy lady. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can. All right, Confucius, fly. you can leave now. Must be nice to have wings. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. Anders, As he's got to overcome his mental retardation. Step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. That's deep. Maseranus Ashabellana. Now darker. the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks and my sympathy. Sympathy? Wait a minute. Something bad's gonna happen? Actually, several bad things will happen. 
some worse than others, depending on my choices, I do believe. See you later, Puff! Alright. It occurs to me, I don't know how Sandamount got its name. It certainly isn't Elf. The hell would I know? Do I look like I have pointy ears? Might as well finish exploring this dump before we go back. They usually hide, like, crafting elements and... Oh, shit. Things like that around here. Oh, crap. I think I do believe uh, that I got the shit beat out of me, me here before, and quite possibly it's about to happen again. Do one of these. Bitches. Let's get the doggy out. Be all right this time. And whenever you're not really paying attention, you don't really expect there to be some like crazy demon battle. It kind of takes you by surprise, and sometimes they kind of bust out some power moves that fuck your shit up. Stupid revenant. Eh, let's save it so I don't have to go back and skip through all that shit again to get back where I'm at now. Ooh, boxes. Ooh. Men find you intimidating. What about Wesley? Did he? Isabella. Uh oh. What? Too soon? Too soon, too personal, too. Everything coming from you. <laughs> oh, sore spot. If you don't shut up, I'll give you a sore spot. Trust me, she's got one after the massive gangbang the other night. Let me guess. I, feel I like can't do a that. different law at work in this place. You can't do it because you only have 19 is. instead of 20. Damn you! I'd like to, sweet thing, but I can't. Damn you and your magnificent wreck. Come on. I know there's more things up here. Give them to me now. I'll have to actually remember to use things like runes and stuff this time through. It should make it a bit easier in some parts. What's all this? Some place that I can't go inside yet. Some readings. Yeah, you can come here later. I would say I probably did about 99% of all the shit that there was to do on my other playthrough. Although I did, well, maybe not 99%, because like I said, I lost one of the characters. Or two of the, by the end of it, I had lost a couple of people, because I was just like, I'm just gonna pick a side and stick with it, regardless of what happens. I won't, I'll, uh, avoid, I'll avoid telling, uh, any of the actual, like, major spoilers about what happens in the storyline, unless, you know, it's actually happening, and obviously if you're watching that, then it's a spoiler and it's your own fault, but, uh, I'm not gonna tell you, like, cause I know I've read a lot of comments, people are actually playing through the game now, at the same time that I am, kind of, so they probably don't know what's gonna happen, so I won't give anything away. Return to camp. Whee! Maserana's child, your debt is paid in full. Sweet. It isn't too late to change your mind. Can we honey. keep her? Gareth Shiral, keep her. I'm ready. Let's depart. Sounds like a plan. Don't give us that look. Just because she's a shem lover. One thing I noticed is, um,. When I was playing as a guy, there seemed to be romance options for every character, including dudes. <laughs> and I just clicked on one because I thought the heart just meant, like, 
friend slash relationship. Is this Is this really where the elves live? It is. If you think this is bad, you should see where oh, I live. Shut up. Well, you want to go back to I the Dalish now? So so dirty. I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. Think of it as an adventure. Working your way up will be fun. All right, that was a lie. It won't be fun. Hey, what you want me to keep playing? I am. Barely set out and I'm already daunted. Thank you for everything. For all your help. No problem. Scissor? Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. Definitely. <laughs> of course. But only because you used that you kicked my puppy voice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. That's pretty much the perfect way to sum up how they trap you with her. She's always using that you kicked my puppy voice. You devious little bastard. All right, Anders. Get lost! Take a hike. Take your feathery fruit jacket with you. Oh, yeah. Huh? Please, Sir Thrask. He won't go to the circle willingly. Time for another quest. Uh, let's uh, level up Meryl real quick. Okay. She was pretty damn effective on my, uh, my other game. I could have sworn these were locked before. Maybe I was just stupid and I didn't notice that they were there, but uh, yeah. These are some pretty awesome skills you can learn over here. I'll let her use this one right off the bat this time. It's there. I didn't actually use some of these. Blood magic stuff, which in my opinion is never really that effective because... Oh shit, wait, I forgot. She's gonna be my healer also, so yeah. She's not gonna be quite as much of a damage dealer. Or not. She doesn't appear to be able to learn healing magic. Damn it, Anders! Fuck. Guess I'm gonna have to have Anders again around the... Ah, fuck, I always use a lot of healing potions. Fuck him. Alright, let's see. Fucking Anders. <sighs> All right, go for that. I didn't actually use that last time. Maybe it'll be effective. She needs her some blood magic. Any spell that basically hurts you to use it, I I never use them because they just seem counterproductive. I'm sure that if you use it correctly, you could probably kick ass with it and all that, but never been a big fan. Ah, oh, she can't learn those because she's not high enough level. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see what else. This is all thrilling stuff for you guys, I'm sure. Madam Wilde, I am sorry for your loss, mistress. No, you're not. But I can offer your nice son mercy goatee. only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. <laughs> Speaking of which... Hello! Your son's an apostate. I'm guessing that Templar wasn't here to offer your son his good wishes. I am Ariane. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. Aww. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. Where is he at? Did your son run away? He learned I had contacted Sir Thrask. He felt I betrayed his trust. You did. He thinks he can live free of the circle. But I am afraid without proper training, he'll kill himself. Are you Dalish? Just guessing from those face tattoos, although that is kind of racial profiling. Those look like Dalish tattoos. Why do you live in the city? I was born to the Dalish, but came to Kirkwall for a time, and 
dallied with a human merchant, so you Vincento. Him, huh? When I found I was with child, neither Vincento nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf-blooded human infant. Racists. I raised Fainreal myself, here in the alienage. What exactly happened? Tell me the whole story. Ah, oh, jeez. I learned years ago popcorn. that my son likely had magical talent, but we could not bear the thought of him locked in the gallows. So we hid. When the nightmares began, Fainreal still refused to contact the Circle. But I... I truly think they are the only people who might save his life. Tell me about the nightmares. What kind of dreams is he having? He dreams of demons, calling to him, pulling him into their world. Every day, it grows harder to wake him. That is why I turn to the Circle. They are the only ones that can protect a mage from his own powers. That is a problem. Abominations are always so awkward at family reunions. No, please, you must find him before... Before the demons finish their work. He must be brought to safety. All right. If you won't do it for Fainreal, do it for Kirkwall. The Templars say a lad like my son is a danger to the whole city if left untrained. I'll destroy him. Of course I'll help. I'll bring your son back to safety. I promise. I don't know where Fainreal is gone, but there are two places you might start your search. So Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainreal's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainreal might have sought him out. What's that uh, Thrask guy like? Tell me about this Templar. I believe he's a good man. He doesn't hate mages, but sees what it took me too long to realize. Even the best intentioned mages are at the mercy of their sleeping minds. Aye. There are other Templars who I'm are a mage. Much less sympathetic. Talking smack. Tell me about your deadbeat husband. Or you and Fainreal's baby father daddy. are not married. Vincento had no desire for a wife or an elf blooded child. I haven't seen him since the day I told him. Some people just aren't built for family life. At least Fainreal has a mother who cares about Unlike him. Unlike you. I have written, though, to keep him informed about his child. Fainreal wanted to meet him. Big mistake. All right, I'm on away. I will not leave hey, you bye, 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 for away. a moment longer than necessary. He ought to have his own life. Out from the shackles of the circle. Everyone should. Yeah. My husband Wesley was a Templar. They're not all fanatics to be wrong. Heard. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. I'm not sure if it's possible because the way this game is set up, but I'm going to try to liz out with all the chicks. Probably can't do it with more than one of them at a time, but I'm not really positive because they kind of changed the way the whole relationship thing works in this one. My plan is try to scissor all the chicks that are it's possible to have romances with. Then the boys and I are going for drinks end up with one of them like and stick with that. Don't one. Mind if I do. It kind of makes See it choose one of them. I do believe. I wonder if I can talk to Meryl again yet. Yep. First, I'll get the free experience from. Looking at all of your personal effects. I didn't realize when I first started making this thing that those things were just codecs and that the big thing is text on the screen was the same codecs that I pretty much just skipped through in the first game, so. Sorry about that. You guys got to sit there and watch a screen with text on it that wasn't really important. I didn't think you'd come. I'll find something relatively clean for you to sit on. Relatively being the operative word. Damn elves. Surprised she doesn't live in a grass hut. Can I get you something to eat or drink? I have water. <coughs> Lovely place you got here. It's cozy. And your fairy friends are charming. Oh, are the rats back? I thought I'd found all their holes. That's what she said. <laughs> I wanted to thank you for bringing me here, but I'm making a mess of it. 
Did you really? I'm sure I could think of a better way for you to thank me. Well, of course you could. I haven't exactly had many friends. Not even among my own clan. I don't think she picked up on that. This is... tricky. Why don't you have friends? What made you unpopular with the Dalish? Being first to the Keeper, I was always a bit secluded. Teacher's pet. I studied magic and history while the others were learning the Via Tanadal. It's good that I left. I'd have made a terrible keeper. I was never that good with people. You're doing fine. You seem to be getting the hang of it already. I'm glad you think so. Thank you for coming to visit me, Hawk. It means a lot to me. No problem. By the Dread Wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean sometimes, I swear. I don't believe it. 